Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Proton and today we're going to be releasing a new pack of scripts for Sony Vegas that I use to edit my videos. These aren't 100% necessary but will make your life a lot easier and also show you how to install them and how to actually use them. Anyway, down the link is in the description. I just want to say before we start what scripts are. They're basically little things that once executed run a lot of tasks that you'd otherwise have to do manually and allows you to focus on the meat and gravy of the edit rather than the tedious stuff. So first of all, you want to download the pack and extract it, and you will need WinRAR to do that. But then go into your file explorer, go into your C drive, and from there head into program files. This is where you install all your 64-bit version programs. For some of you, you might have it in a different location, but for most people, this is where it will be. And then head into whichever version of Vegas you have. I have 13, and then from there go into your scripts menu, and from here you can copy and paste them into it. Personally, I made a third-party folder so that I know which ones Vegas installed and which ones I put in, and this is pretty much done. And now if you open Vegas, you'll notice that when you go to the tools tab at the top and go down to scripting, you can see the ones we've put in the folder. If you do click on any of them, they will run, but here's a trick you can use without having to continuously go into tools and then the rest. So just below the top tab, by files and edit, you have different icons such as save, render, open, import, and they're all in the toolbar. Now if you go to the right of that and double click, it'll open up another tab. And this allows you to add whichever scripts you want, and so I'm just going to add all of them and after that, just click close. So for the aspect ratio script, you basically want to select a clip or multiple clips by clicking on them and then just click on run script. It'll enlarge a clip until the aspect ratio is matched. Again, if no clip is selected, then it'll just adjust all clips. Change alpha channel is one that I use so often that basically you can have certain video files with transparency, but Vegas won't recognize that until you've told it to. For example, the light burn transitions that you see in all of my videos all have an alpha channel, but Vegas doesn't use it until you tell it to. So you can manually do it by right click and going onto clip and then going into properties, media, and alpha channel. Or you can just select the clip, click on the script, and it'll automatically change the alpha channel to pre-multiply. There is a way to change it though, if you open the script with notepad in the folder, there'll be a step-by-step -step guide on how to change it, say unmatted or whatever you want. This is definitely a great script and you should all use it. Now delete empty space between events is also really helpful, basically click on any track and when the script is run it will delete all spaces that are in between the clips. Manly you'd have to do a method of ripple deleting but this saves you a lot of time and if you say want to make a sound pack and have it organised in the timeline, this is a great script. Now for everyone's favourite you have disable resample global. Resample is what Vegas used to change the frame rate of your clips so they better match the project and what it does though is create that blurry effect or ghosting effect as some of you may call it. So by default it's set a smart resample for all of your clips and you would have to go into manually and change each of the clip properties and change it to disable resample and that for each clip. With this you click it once and all clips in the project or on the timeline are set to disable resample. This is an absolute time saver and one everyone should use full stop. As for a different script, fade in and fade out is a simple one but still really powerful. Basically select a clip and then when you click on the script it will put a 1 second fade in and a 1 second fade out. Pretty simple but still good stuff. Multi effects designer is great, the script allows you to easily add effects to all clips or specific ones, say you want to apply two effects to three clips, normally you'd have to do it manually by doing it per track or per clip, so select the ones you want to have done and then click on this, it'll open up another window where you can add effects or even choose among some of the presets. This is a great tool if you want to apply effects to certain layers or clips and want to save some time doing so. With me I just use the track method but yeah this is really good. A normalize all just normalize all the tracks and brings them to an average noise level and remove all effects just removes all your effects and selected media. Really straightforward stuff. Anyway guys this has been Pro and I hope you have enjoyed. Down the link is in the description yeah. Like this video if you like it, dislike it if you thought it sucked and please subscribe to get updates when I upload. I've got a ton of tests coming up but you should see some new capture cards with you in two weeks and then a starting YouTube series. When things settle down I will do more Vegas tutorials but in the meantime, adios.